Greetings, students. Today we are going to learn about a very interesting topic, WordPress plugins I use and why. Let us get to know more about this. Over the period of five years of blogging, I have come across many WordPress plugins, and I believe in more custom codes instead of using plugins, but the fact is, plugins are easier to implement than codes. Here I am sharing all the WordPress plugins that I use at Shout Me Loud, and you can pick those which you think are going to be useful for your blog. Add Quick Tag allows me to create new buttons in the post editor of my own creation. I have buttons like jQuery, which allows me to select some code I'm putting in a blog post and it wraps it in the tags I need to make it look like code and be syntax highlighted. Advanced Excerpt gives me more control for how I output excerpts of posts. For instance, which tags specifically should be removed and which can stay. Also allows for one-off control with a custom function. Clean Notifications. Extremely old, but still vital for me. Turns new comment notifications from being plain text with big long gnarly URLs all over them into a simple HTML email with clickable links. FD Feed Burner Plugin. Make sure all RSS feed requests get shuttled over to my feed burner feed. That's best because, one, then I can track statistics accurately, and two, it relieves some load from the server. Live Comment Preview. Speaking of better comment threads, I believe allowing people to see what their comment will look like before posting helps that, especially on a site where people post code fairly frequently, and how easy that is to screw up. Restrict Content Pro. The heart that makes the lodge work. Some content just isn't available to view on the site unless you've logged in and have an active subscription. This makes all that happen. I use the PayPal Pro and CSV user import plugins for it. Plugin plugins. WordPress SEO takes care of all the little best practices stuff that is tedious to deal with otherwise. Things like using ideal page title formats, proper meta tags, canonical URLs, sitemap building, social media data, etc.